January 31, 1968, it was an opening assault that would come to be known as the Tet Offensive, a particularly bloody period of the Vietnam War. North, Vietnam for North Vietnamese forces launched an attack on a strategically located air base in Sa near Saigon. The first American unit call to respond was that of Specialist 5 Dwight Birdwell, unknown to approximately 100 men in C Troop. They were moving to be taken on a full regiment of Viet Cong, likely to be more than 1,000 strong. They arrived. The troop engaged the Viet Cong forces. Specialist Birdwell's unit took the main brunt of the attack with many tanks and vehicles disabled. When his tank commander was hit and gravely wounded, Specialist Birdwell got him to a place of safety and then took command. He knew his vehicle was on the first line of defense. So Birdwell stood in his commander's hatch at times, half exposed, at times standing entirely out of the tank, fully exposed, laying down suppressive fire on the enemy. He used the tank's cannon. He used the tank's machine gun. He used his personal rifle. He sustained fire, drove back the attackers, and created a place of relative safety for injured men behind the tank to take cover. He provided battlefield updates to his commanders until the enemy shot the communication system right off of his helmet. When he ran out of ammunition, he ran to retrieve an M60 machine gun and ammo off the helicopter that had been downed in a flight to keep firing on the enemy. And even when that M60 was hit by enemy fire, causing it to explode and send shrapnel into Birdwell's face, chest, arms, and hands, remained on the battlefield. When he was ordered to load onto the medevac helicopter, he complied. This I find amazing, only to crawl right back off the other side <laughs> and to keep on fighting. That should call taking orders and causing trouble. <laughs> God love you. Only after reinforcements arrived and only after he helped treat the evacuees, his fellow wounded, did Specialist Birdwell agree to evacuate himself. At the time, Birdwell received a silver star for his outstanding heroism on the battlefield. It took decades for his commanding officer, then General Glenn Otis, to realize Birdwell had not received the full honor he had earned. But in retirement, General Otis made sure to correct the record and fully document Birdwell's actions to make this day possible. A member of the Cherokee Nation, Birdwell credits the Cherokee veterans who came before him and encourage him to serve when he called. And I might note, Native American communities, a larger percentage, serve in the United States Armed Forces at a higher percentage rate than any other cohort in America. Than any other cohort in America. After leaving the Armory, Birdwell continued to build a legacy of service in his community in Oklahoma. He started his own law firm, served for 12 years on the Cherokee Nation Supreme Court, and he passed that legacy of service down to his daughter, Stephanie Birdwell, who's with him today, and who serves as the director of the Office of Tribal Relations at the Department of Veterans Affairs. Specialist 5 Birdwell, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And to your wife, Virginia, who I know wishes she could be with, here with you today, give her our love as well. I'm grateful for all you've given to our country, and that at long last, at long last, your story's being honored as it should have been always. Specialist 5, Dwight W. Birdwell. Attention to orders. The President of the United States of America, authorized by Act of Congress, March 3, 1863, has awarded in the name of Congress the Medal of Honor to Specialist 5 Dwight W. Birdwell, United States Army, for conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his own life above and beyond the call of duty. Specialist 5 Dwight W. Birdwell distinguished himself by acts of gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call of duty while serving with C Troop 3rd Squadron, 4th Cavalry, 25th Infantry Division, and the Republic of Vietnam 
on 31 January 1968. On this date, C Troop was ordered to move south to help repel an enemy attack on Tun Sun Yut Air Base. As the C Troop column of tanks and armored personnel carriers approached the west gate of Tun Sun Yut Air Base, it became under intense enemy fire from a building at, to, at its right. Unbeknown to C Troop, it had driven directly into an enemy force consisting of three battalions. The column tried to push through the initial attack, but the lead tank, crippled by rocket-propelled grenade explosions, was blocking the way forward. C Troop immediately came under heavy enemy fire from both sides of the road. Specialist 5 Birdwell, upon seeing that his tank commander was wounded by enemy fire, immediately went to his aid. Upon intense, under intense enemy fire, he lowered the injured tank commander to the ground and moved him to safety. Specialist 5 Birdwell then, with complete disregard for his own safety, mounted the tank and assumed the tank commander's position. Standing in the tank commander's hatch with the upper half of his body exposed to heavy enemy fire, Specialist 5 Birdwell used the enemy tank's 50 caliber machine gun and 90 millimeter main gun to suppress the enemy attack. With ammunition for the 90 millimeter main gun exhausted, he continued to fire the 50 caliber machine gun until it overheated. At this point, Specialist 5 Birdwell, rather than abandoning his position, continued to engage the enemy with his M16 rifle, sometimes exposing his entire body to fire uh, in order to engage the enemy from a better vantage point. When, the, when a U.S. helicopter crashed nearby, Specialist 5 Birdwell, under withering enemy fire, dismounted and moved to the helicopter where he retrieved two M60 machine guns and ammunition. After giving one M60 and ammunition to a fellow soldier, he remounted his tank and used the other M60 to again engage the enemy. Specialist 5 Birdwell continued to engage the enemy with complete disregard for his own safety until the M60 he was firing was hit by enemy fire. Specialist 5 Birdwell, now wounded in the face, neck, chest, and arms, dismounted the tank but refused to be medically evacuated. Instead, Specialist 5 Birdwell, under enemy fire, rallied fellow soldiers to advance toward the front of the armored column where they set up a defensive position by a large tree. From this position, he and the other soldiers engaged the enemy with M16 fire and grenades. As the enemy fire lessened, Specialist 5 Birdwell gathered ammunition from disabled vehicles and helped wounded soldiers move to safer positions. His leadership and tenacity under fire inspired the other sea troop soldiers to continue fighting against the superior enemy force and directly contributed to the enemy's ultimate defeat. Specialist 5 Birdwell's extraordinary heroism and selflessness above and beyond the call of duty were in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit upon himself, his unit, and the United States Army. Signed, Joseph R. Biden, the President of the United States.